Yes, I know it's a little bit of a different setup, but I'm actually in between cities right now. I'm seriously in a different city like every other day. It's really, really fun actually. But I'm visiting my parents right now, which is why it's back to the old setup from the old ways, if you guys remember. But I wanted to do a quick video for you guys anyways, talking about a few of the nail products that I've tried out that I've been absolutely loving. So you guys know if you guys watch my videos that I'm really into, you know, French manicures. I've always done my own French manicure just because it's way more affordable that way and I got it right here. Here's my tutorial if you guys are asking. A lot of you guys ask me if I have fake nails. I do not have fake nails. I've had fake nails twice in high school and I hated it and I will never ever do it again. It took so long to grow out. It hurt really badly. I mean granted the technician was not that great but I just would never go back. And so lately though I've been kind of more open to trying out colors. I think it's because when I was younger one of my ex-boyfriends like, we were walking around and some girl had you know, really bright nail polish in her hand and he was just like, oh my god, it looks like fungus. And ever since then, I've kind of been shy to wear, you know, bright colors. But lately, I've been kind of breaking out of that shell because more of the people that I've been hanging out with, you know, like really bright colored nail polish. And so I've been feeling less self-conscious about it. Because before, it would just make me feel self-conscious, which I know is ridiculous, but it just did, you know. So, you know, I kind of avoided it for a while. So as a warning, these products are all high-end. And I swear I am not, you know, someone who's super into high-end makeup or super into high-end nail stuff, especially because I'm not a big nail person, you know, so I've never really splurged on nail products. The most expensive things I bought were OPI and SE, and I don't like SE, and I like OPI, but that's pretty much it, you know, I'm not really into nails. And so I've never, you know, gone too much into the high-end nail polish, but I've actually just tried these products recently, and I really, really, really like them enough to make this impromptu video for you guys. So the first thing I talk about is nail polish remover. So while I was finding this polish, which I'll talk about later, so while I was finding this polish, I was on a lot of nail forums, and they were talking about Zoya nail remover. My sister has actually gone into nail art, which is so funny because growing up, I was always the really girly one, you know, she never ever liked makeup, and she's actually severely allergic to most makeup, and so she can't even wear it even if she wants to, but then she's discovered that, you know, she can wear nail polish, she's not going to be allergic to it, so she's been having, you know, heyday with nails. And I saw this on her desk, and I was trying to take off my French manicure so that I could, you know, paint my nails with my new color. And I saw the Zoya remover, and I had seen that it got really highly recommended on a lot of forums for being gentle. And that's really important to me because, you know, I don't take off my nail polish with acetone. I have acetone. I use it for my um, French manicure. And a lot of you guys ask me, why don't you use regular nail polish remover to do your French manicure? It's because acetone is actually much stronger. It's pretty much the primary ingredient in most nail polish removers. But the reason why now they're making a lot of non-acetone nail polish removers is because acetone is actually pretty damaging on your nails. So I would use acetone when I do my French manicure just because it makes it cleaner. It makes it a really clean line. If you use regular nail polish remover, you're just not going to get as clean of a line because it's more diluted. I would a protein enriched, just the target one. I just use a protein enriched nail polish remover, but it would just take forever. It made my nails, you know, a really weird, nasty texture, and so I wanted to stop using that, but I didn't really know where to go, and so I decided to use this the other day. This is my sister's. It's actually purple. You guys can see right here. Zoya sells this on the website. This bottle is around nine dollars, which is pretty expensive for nail polish remover, I think. And then they have a bigger bottle, like a really, really, really big one for twenty-five dollars. So that would obviously be the more economical choice. But this this one's cool because you just press it down. It's kind of like those containers where you just press it down and then you cut it out but it smells really bad. It smells like a mix between dish soap and Avita hair products which I hate the smell of both so that's pretty much what it smells like but it works super well. It's very gentle on the nails. It doesn't make your nails feel dry or brittle after you use it. It doesn't give you that nasty you know white cast that acetone and other nail polish removers does but it actually makes your nails feel very just rehydrated and strong after you take off a nail polish, which is not normal. Usually your nails feel very stripped after nail polish. So very highly recommended. Smells awful, works great. You know, I'm really surprised that for such a gentle nail polish remover, it works really, really, really well. The next thing I tried was actually because I was in Rachel's apartment. Do not go in this girl's apartment ever. <laughs> She's such an enabler. But I saw this on her desk. It's the Deborah Lipman Rehydrating Base Coat. So this is my first time with any kind of Deborah Lipman product. And I saw this and just, you know, I was going through everything on her table, all the nail polish since I've, since I've recently gone on this nail polish kick. And I saw this and I asked her what it was just because it kind of interested me because you guys know that I use the Orly Bonder base coat. But I've even mentioned in my videos that I don't think it's a great base coat. I just use it because I don't really know what else to use and I've been too lazy to try out anything else. And so I finally tried out this one. She said it was really great. It was her favorite, her and her roommate's favorite. Tried it. Absolutely loved it. Makes your nails so smooth, but at the same time, I really feel like it helps my nails not peel. So one of my problems is I actually get a lot of peeling 
at the very tips of my nails and then on the edge of my nails it tends to rip a lot and I haven't had that at all with this base coat so I'm a very very big fan you know it actually feels like it does make the nail polish stick much better it is very expensive but it's the first base coat where I thought it was actually a good base coat and I never think base coats are a very good base coat I would just use primer before but it really wouldn't help that much and so I'm a very big fan of this dries very quickly um, really, really makes your nails look super smooth, if you guys can tell. It just looks super smooth and glass-like. And then the last product I tried was actually the product I have on my nails right now. This is the Chanel Distraction Nail Polish. This is from their Spring 2012 collection, I believe. It's just a coral color, but then it has little pink micro shimmers in it. So if you guys can see now, it's a bit more of a pinky coral. Sorry, ignore my friend who's singing. <laughs> it looks more like a pinky coral. So it just really depends on what light you look at it in. Sometimes it looks more orange and sometimes it's more pink. I really couldn't take a picture of this. I tried so many times. It just wasn't picking up for me. So I'm going to link a photo from a girl's blog that I randomly found that shows the micro shimmer in person. But when you look at it, you know, you're just in regular light, you can't really see it. But it's super pretty, very, very wearable. I didn't think that I'd be able to wear this just because, you know, I'm so self-conscious in bright colors. But I love this polish. It's so easy to apply. I didn't really think that it'd be, you know, that much better for nail polish experience, you know, because I'm like, oh, nails, nails, you know, polish, polish can't be worth that much. It's very expensive, obviously, $26 for a bottle. It just applies really differently from any other polish I've ever tried. Like, you know how normal polish is? Well, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but especially with China Glaze, those kind of polishes, I feel like it's very easy to get very messy and all over the place. This one was so easy to paint with. It just felt like everything stayed in place and nothing really moved and the coat is so smooth and this is day four right now and I haven't had any chips if you guys can see right there no chips day four usually I'm the kind of person who has chipped nails by the end of the day that I paint them a lot of you guys ask me you guys say oh Jackie oh my gosh your nails always look so perfect how do you make them look so perfect all the time how often do you paint them I paint them right before the video that's why they look good because I haven't had a chance to mess them up yet but you know after cleaning and life and clumsiness. I just broke this nail off today by pressing the soap dispenser that was broken. I didn't know it was broken. I pushed my nail and it fell off. Well, life happens. <laughs> so I'm very, very hard on my nails, you know? And I don't take any kind of supplements just because, I mean, first of all, I'm just not huge into supplements anyways. And then also I don't want my hair to grow faster because I feel like my hair is already like weed. It just needs to stop growing so it wouldn't cost so much to cut. But it's really like the best nail polish experience I've ever had. This is only two coats, completely opaque, beautiful, beautiful color. Even with one coat, it's still like pretty good, but not perfect, so I just put on two. Absolutely perfect. Still no chips, amazing. And I took a bath the other day. Normally when you take a bath, you know how it encourages polish to peel, which, which is another reason why I think polish comes off easily on me, because I have long hair, so I tend to be in the shower longer when I, you know, comb my fingers through it, do my whole hair routine. And so... Super great polish. I think it's definitely turned me on to high-end polish. Don't worry, I'm not one of those people that, you know, love Chanel, actually. I'm pretty much the exact opposite. I don't like most Chanel makeup, and I got so much flack for saying this in the past. But I think Chanel makeup is good, you know? But I don't think it's as good as their bags are. I think their bags are some of the best bags out there in the handbag world. I don't think that, you know, their blushes are very good. I don't find their shadows or mascaras to be very good. But this was the only thing that I thought was, wow. This is the only time I tried a Chanel product and thought, wow, this was actually worth it. I don't regret it at all. And so, very highly recommended. It's such a beautiful, pretty coral. And I like that it has that pink micro shimmer in it. Because it definitely gives it a little bit more interesting dimension. You know, it's not just flat creamy coral so I really like it I'm a super big fan I want to just repaint my nails right now but I don't need to because they haven't chipped so that is all so really recommend all three of these products great nail polish remover really great base it's really helped with my peeling and um, nail breaking right at the edge and then also a really great nail polish color if you're looking for coral because corals are very popular these days and so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that mini haul, and hopefully I'll talk to you guys later. Maybe in another different city. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where life takes us. <laughs> Bye, guys.